So I'm sitting here thinking to myself and just yesterday I had a conversation with my sister-in-law and she is going through some trials and she was just explaining things to me and um, apologizing to me for her actions, I guess, against me through her situation. And I had responded to her in a way that was as loving as I could think of and just to sh reassure her that she's family and everything that she had done um you know is forgivable is forgiven and I just really wanted to know how she was for herself and that and then she responded to her she told talked to her sister my wife and had said that it was it that talk helped and it occurred I, i'm telling you this because it, i was thinking about that when she when uh, my wife told me she said that and i was like you know what like that is God's gift. That is God's gift. Because being able to, it's the, the spirit of counsel. It's that's one of the seven spirits. And the spirit of counsel, I've realized how I have been given that. And um because a lot of people will come to me. Um, uh, and, and with their pro, I don't want to say with their problems, but, um, with their trials and just talk to me about them. And, um, a lot of time, and it's a lot of times it's not like I'm asking them about it per se, but that guy has sent them to speak these things to me. And I always wonder why why that was when I was younger because he used to do that to me when I was younger too people would come to me and ex you know and just kind of spill their guts in a sense and I'm like uh okay and, and then we just get to talking about it you know and blah 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 and I remember people used to always say that uh I was very I guess welcoming or something like that and they were always all the time they would say do I know you? You 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 just seem so familiar. And I, and that and I'm thinking about all these things and I'm realizing this is stuff. This was God all the time even before I really understood because that was a sense of him his his comforting people when you know when we talk to him he he is our counselor and he is our healer and he has he is our peace and there's just that familiarness of that spirit and not to say a familiar spirit don't get me wrong you know that's a wicked spirit but i'm i'm saying that it, i don't know how to explain it but it's that that comfortableness um that God comes through his spirit and he and and it's we I guess we're used to it in a sense um because we've been in it before we've been in it before before we came into these bodies we were in uh with Christ we were with Christ you know before he spoke us into existence so uh, we, you know, we existed in his mind. We existed in, I won't go that deep. But anyway, um, we were here, we're, we're here now. And just these things that God does through us that make people feel comfortable. And 
I realized like that is what God is doing with with me, like how I had spoke with my my sister in law, and it was the spirit of counsel for me to be able to speak life into her situation and to make her feel comfortable to the point of bringing healing, and that is the power that God is doing through that gift. It is being able to help somebody with a situation, even the, any, even their life in general, to guide them into a positive direction that ultimately leads them to God, that makes them feel comfortable, and they get to know God's love through what you do, and that's awesome. It's just so awesome. And I know I, I might I might not be teaching right now. I mean, in a sense, I am, but well, since God is through the spirit of teaching, and but you know, or speaking about extremely prophetic uh, things or dreams, explaining. But it's just sometimes you have to share the the wisdom that God allows us to have when he opens our eyes to certain things and it because that brings encouragement to somebody that brings encouragement and they then start to grow their seed their faith it begins to grow by that encouragement and we then begin to help them to become stronger and to be able to use their gifts to make up make another person right raise another person up along with them and so on and so on and so on and that is what the movement and the power of god is really doing moving through us each other that's what the importance of unity in the in the church is because with having that unity we connect one from another this flow of the spirit of god and he then, you know, gets to use each person as we are all one body, different body parts. And God, Jesus is the head. Yeshua is the head. And that is what is, that's what I really, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to help y'all to grow so that we can grow together as a church, as a whole. And you know, it's all glory to God. It is all glory to the Messiah, all glory to the Most High, the Heavenly Father of Lights who has blessed us with such great things, who has given us word that is everlasting, who has given us life through the light of heaven, the light of earth, who is Jesus, who is his Son. His son, his very son, he gave him to us. How deep can that really be? Can you understand how awesome and amazing that is? I cannot imagine how it must have been to give my son, my son, the person that I, I gave birth to, the child from me that is part of me, to be killed. For some other person, I don't understand that. That is beyond my understanding because I could not do that. But our God has done that for us. How great of a love can he, that, like, there's no greater love. Like they say, like the word says, there's no greater love. Oh my gosh. Woo. Jesus is awesome. God is awesome. And I I know sometimes, well, I haven't been on for a while, and I've just been soaking in the spirit and learning and receiving and growing. And if there was anything that I didn't believe before that was possible, I believe it now because God has shown me so much greatness, so many things that I could not just like Paul said, like, it, it's not, it, it wouldn't be right for me to say because it is so great. It's hard to even give it the right words to explain how awesome that he really is in the things of God and his, in his kingdom. But I digress. I apologize. 
But I just had to praise my God real quick because he's just so good. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with y'all. With y'all. And hopefully this will bring encouragement. Excuse me. <laughs> Mouth getting a little dry. Uh, bring encouragement for your life and someone else's. So yeah, God bless you. I love you. I'll talk with you soon.